hi guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing today my name is clara Evit. thank you for stopping by and do not forget to subscribe just smash that red button so to subscribe to my channel so in today's video you are going to be watching first like to state that i did not take the whole mro's thing seriously you know should i have you know respected um because boundaries and do not reciprocate the energy yes definitely i do accept that and i apologize if like i crossed the boundary that she felt like disrespected or any i want to really appreciate angel for being herself and realizing her mistake and coming back to apologize to liquoros angel really did so many bad things to liquoros in the house and then um, if let's assume Likoros wasn't a patient person or a composed person, hmm, like let's assume she was a, a kind, she was an angel's kind, I believe that she herself, she wouldn't have been able to, you know, take the heat. We women, we are really our problems to ourselves. You cannot see a man staying or being with this person and because you have interest on this man you want to do extremely see let me tell you sometimes in life eh, what you're pushing for is if it's not for you it's not for you and god designed each and every one of us god knows our future husband god knows our partners so for you to make a choice wrongly i think eh, that one to you pay for it because you know that's why sometimes you see people having divorce people having this and that in their union not because they want to it sometimes is because that person was not meant for you and or because you forced yourself on it life is not like that we must be patient in life and uh, we take things at the time make sure that you do your best and leave the rest you know i i appreciate angel because it seems she has a good heart and coupled with the fact that she's still a young girl and uh, yeah so she did well by apologizing maybe because she knows that things are not working out for liqua rose and emmanuel anymore that's why let's assume that emmanuel and liqua rose are still on together would angel have apologized to them or because she's doing this because she realized that both of them are not together anymore that the union has ended how be it we move man shall not live by bread alone mm -hmm. so guys uh, another episode you're going to be watching is this uh, jmk of a girl hey guys flirting but i didn't take it seriously why sorry i said because inappropriate things deep. inappropriate things like what um i don't know you have listened to what jmk said and then um, to me i don't believe her our own case was totally different because we watched the show and uh, we saw what went down how she even said uh, emmanuel is a speck she likes emmanuel she even went ahead to be doing things that she is not supposed to be doing just because you have a passion for this person or you have love for this person and sometimes life is not like life is not like that irrespective of uh, emmanuel fucked up then we still love both of them together because they uh, they have taught us so many things in relationship or not life generally but then we appreciate them well so guys let's now watch what is playing around with her housewife of lagos this is quite interesting yes, this is not the current one of the ex each of the Did you guys listen to what Iabo's question was to Caroline? And Caroline said uh, she does not like people asking her questions about her relationships and all of that. You guys are aware that uh, Lick, um, <laughs> I say Liquorus, Caroline was once a married woman to Dan Juma and she divorced. Aside that, she has other relationships and uh, we never knew who bought her the bangle that got missing and she said uh, since the bangle was a gift that uh, she valued a uh, gift so much and that the bangle was very expensive that worth about forty five thousand dollars but nobody believed her laura said uh, she likes lying that she cannot believe uh, she does not believe a uh, caro so just listen to this i found that very disrespectful 
and very, very rude. So that statement came out as I mess around. So guys, it seems that this program is being centered around uh, Carol's life, Carol's experience, Carol's divorce, Carol's lifestyle, Carol this and that. Because why I'm saying so is because um, ever since the show started, it has been one issue to Carol to other to the other, sorry, and uh, nobody is really like uh, like going deep into this person's life, uh, Tonya's life, even uh, Laura's life, even this person's life, a uh, Choma, but it has been this person, Caro, Caro, Caro. I don't know if the, the script is being, um, you know, is mainly for Caro's lifestyle, Caro digs and that. We are yet to see the reaction of uh, Caro towards um Iyabo, based on the question Iyabo's asked car, you know. So, guys, let's look at this new episode, the highlights of it. I know you guys might like it because, hmm. To host Tween for her 40th birthday, I'm taking you to an exclusive club. I'm bored, I'm tired, and I feel alone. I feel for uh, Laura. Laura believed that um, people are against her and um, that Carol is being manipulative. And it could be that uh, Carol is uh, using other housemates there to fight her. So she's not happy, being that she's a mother and the program is going on like that. I really feel for her too. Like, she's hurt. She's like, she's alone. Nobody's defending her. However, bye bye, guys.